Grab that leg. I just want to feel. I just got to feel. Wait, I just got to feel. I got to feel. Okay, that's, that's good to start. Hold up now. Hold up. Look, he's strong. He's strong too. He's strong too. But let me see. Wait. Let me grab the leg. I'll put a little weight on. Oh, oh. oh. So you want to go to the guillotine. Oh, you're a submission guy now. <laughs> you're a submission guy now. Okay. So I'm here with Surreal Gone. As he's about to take on John Jones, UFC 285 main event. Champ, how you feeling? I feel good. I feel chill, calm, confident, everything like that. I feel like we got to go back to go forward before we can talk about this weekend. In the fight with Francis, you got taken down late, and that's what won the fight. And everybody points to that as the reason you're going to have issues with Jones. But I think what they're missing is Francis is a big, strong guy, and if he grabs you, there's not a person in the world that he's not going to just drag to the ground. Yeah, exactly. It's not about the, 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 the technical wrestling. It was yes. about the power. And, uh, and, uh, and I felt this. And when he had some opportunities to, to took me, did it, and after that it was done. He's so strong. Yeah, physically. I was really not focused on, on, the, on, the, on the wrestling game. I was really focused on his hand, you see. So it was my mistake. And because of that, though, it's a big undertaking, right? John Jones is considered one of the greatest of all time. But is this a much less dangerous fight in terms of a championship fight for the second time? Because the first guy was a guy that could put you out. This guy doesn't seem to have that ability. So does this make this a much different, less daunting challenge as you head into this one? It's going to be really different. It's going to be uh, another fight. Uh, again, Francis, it was, it was a great fight. I managed very well. But today is going to be a really different opponent, really more well rounded And I know he's going to be looking for some takedown, for sure, because he is better on the wrestling game. Mm -hmm. He is better on the wrestling game. This is not a question. Maybe also better on the grand game. This is not because I'm not ready. I'm ready to go there. Uh, but I'm better than him on the striking game. I understand that. You see? So we know exactly what kind of fight is going to happen. Uh, so yes, and today I'm focused on that. Then we'll get to tie to Ivasa. So, you know, you're a bit of a pretty boy, you know what I'm saying? You're a bit of a pretty boy. You know, you got the pretty face, you know, you got the pretty body. You know, you're a bit of a pretty boy. The fights look a little pretty, you know, you popping dudes from the outside, you're moving. And then tie to Ivasa drops you, and then you become a dog. Like you turn into a dog. Like who knew? <laughs> who knew the pretty boy had that dog no, in him like that? Because the people know me in the UFC, in the MMA, like like a, like a a pretty guy with yeah. a good fight IQ to manage his descent and win Technique, his game. Technique, you know, barely gets touched. That? But all of my did, all of my team know that when I need to go on this way in the gym, uh, even if I, before the MMA when I was in the Muay Thai, my mindset it was only dog style. Yeah, only dog style. And uh, so yes, we know to do on this way. And uh, yes, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Tai touched me. And did a mistake to. <laughs> they made a mistake by hitting you. Yeah. Because you turned into a whole different dude. I got no choice because he looking, he look at me like, like I, like I was a bitch. Exactly. Like that's crazy. Like, yeah. I'm gonna finish you. I, I knock you down. I'm gonna finish you. Okay. You want to finish me? Let's go. I'm gonna go and your, fight you this yeah, way. Exactly. And you exactly. ultimately end up getting the finish. Exactly. What did it mean to you to fight in Paris like that? That place was crazy. Really crazy. The union with the crowd was really crazy, and the crowd of friends of my country surprised me a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. So now we get to today. You're fighting John Jones. When he was coming back, it was Francis, it was Stipe. It was never, Surreal Gan really wasn't the guy that many thought was going to get this fight. But in the back, were you hearing that there was a possibility that it could be you that was fighting Jones? Uh. No, I really don't imagine the, uh, this fight. Uh, a lot of people talking about this fight that a few years ago because I was the new guy yeah. uh, in the EV uh, division. Uh, really, really well, well rounded and fast. Yeah. You see, and uh, the people imagine a lot of this fight uh, there a few years ago. But today we are here, and even the, the match was uh, uh, signed. I was really not ready about that because. I waiting at first, uh, Francis again. Uh, I really think it, this is gonna happening, but you see uh, what's 
he live, he live the league, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, yeah, but we are really happy. We are yeah. really happy about that. This is a big opportunity for me. I'm so happy about that. And you said you spoke to that a little bit about how you um, have watched John Jones. You have seen him in the biggest moments. You appreciate his career. How do you do away with that admiration, though? How do you put that in the back so that when you step in there, you're like, man, I got to kick this dude's ass? Because I'll tell you this. I was fighting Anderson Silva. And it happened super quick, right? Like on two days' notice. And I looked across the octagon, and I was like, "Fuck, that's Anderson Silva." Like I, I thought to myself, "Like that's Anderson." And then they started to wrestle the bell, and I was like, "Okay, now it's time to wrestle him." But how do you get rid of that admiration for a guy that you have seen for a long time, even before you got here, to say, "You know what, man? I'm gonna go take this dude's head off." Because a lot of people think I'm, a, I'm a fan of John Jones. It's really not about that. The people ask me. Which fighter you want to do? Which fighter you like? What type of fighter you like? And one and John Jones is the guy. He is the well wonder guy, and I'm looking for to be this kind of guy. Yeah. But I'm not fan on him. I just studied uh, the MMA there. Now five years. I started to watch MMA there so five years. And that ago. was when he was about to take, be out of the UFC, right? He's been gone for three years now. So not like, did you watch him much before you started fighting MMA? No. Really? Man, no. I was really not about what is it, about an MMA, bro. I just started the Muay Thai, and I just started to know who is the big guy in the Muay Thai. And I switched already in MMA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see? So, no, I'm really not fan about this guy. So, when I'm going to jump in the cage, I'm not going to be, a, I'm going to really look this guy like a fan. Yeah. The first time I went to an ever fight, it was Anderson. So, if I was like, yeah. I'm a fan of this guy. Like, this shit yeah, I remember my guy on my corner, uh, Alan Bodo, when he saw my first big test against Junior Dos Santos. He was like that on my corner because Junior Dos Santos. <laughs> he like, he like Junior Dos Santos. And he told me after the fight, man. I was like that. Junior Dos Santos <laughs> mean a lot for me, you see. But for me, no, you see. Yeah. Really, no, I'm not like that. So you've made headlines saying that you don't necessarily work as much in between fights, but Coach Fernand said that's not true. You guys have kind of missed taking what he was saying. What are you saying? Because to me, I felt like if wrestling was an issue, the biggest gains you make are when you're in between fights. That's when you get better in the areas that you... Oh, no, 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 no. We learn, no. At my gym, we know how I can be a better fighter. Mm -hmm. When I arrived in my gym, I was already good on my feet. Yeah. So directly, we work on the, on the wrestling game since uh, we started that uh, five years ago when I started in, in 2018. So we know we push this, uh, this, this and, uh, and, uh, and yes, today we adapt. We adapt my wrestling game for John Jones. Like, uh, is more when you have when when you you don't have a fight, you work on the technical wrestling. Yes, right. yes. And yes. when and when you have well, before the fight, and when you have the fight, you are focused on how you can beat your opponent because you have a good wrestling game. Like uh, you, you understand what I mean? Huh? I do understand. Yeah, it's so, like you build a game plan for that yeah, specific person. Yeah. So it's not about how I can be a better wrestler. Yeah. It's not just about that. Yeah. The how I can beat this guy. But you are training in between fights. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> Come on, man. Are you training in between fights? No, like, yeah. I mean, you got to be training. <laughs> you don't look like that. If you don't train in between fights, you look like me. Not like your body, you know? Like, you don't look like that. Truly. Is that right? You got to be yeah, training. Yeah, truly. Because the people think... Because I say, I'm not... In my gym, you have the guy. He was born for spend all of the day of the week in the, at the gym. I hated that. I, it's impossible for me. That's why I say I'm a lazy guy. When you compare me with, the, with this kind of fighter, wow, I'm a lazy guy. Maybe I will be better if I do that. But I, but I talk about that with all of my family, my friend and, and my coach. And he said, man, you need your balance. Yeah. You need to, to, to take a rest, to spend the time with your family, love everything like that. And after when you're coming back, you, are, you will be better. And I think, this is my way. And it, well, you're fighting for the championship for the second time. Ooh. So obviously, it's not failing you, right? Yeah, this is a good way. The I proof got, is I in got, the pudding. I got no secret. Maybe this is my secret to balance, to be a lazy guy. Maybe. <laughs> you see? <laughs> so Saturday night, how do you envision this fight? Like, have you, 
Have you allowed yourself to go there? Like, have you allowed yourself to play the fight out in your mind multiple times as you head into the fight? Or are you going to just go in there and be like, hey, it is what it is? We're prepare, we preparing this fight. Yeah. So, so we know already which kind of fighter we're going to have in front of me. We saw, we watched some videos, uh, uh, a lot of videos, mm -hmm. uh, more than every fight I, I prepared. And uh, so we know already which kind of fighter, we know already how we want to, to jump in this fight. Fortunately, I can't tell you too much. No, you I can't, because I'm opposed to this. Now, you see, you know, we do the fighter meetings, and uh, we say we won't say it till we end the octagon, but this shit's going up right away. Like, I mean, but, but, <laughs> you say too much, it's going to be on the internet. I'm sorry, bro. I got to right. tell you the truth. But yes, <laughs> trust me, I'm, I, I'm not going to look this guy like a fan. No, for sure. I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm confident uh, if I'm here. This is mean something. Absolutely. So we are confident and we did a really great camp. So we will see this Saturday. You think that he's seen anybody like Cyril Gan? You see, he's seen tall guys, right? Dominic Reyes and Anthony Smith. But has he seen anyone that has ability like you? An ability to be that big, but also move in the way that you move. Like, it really is. It, it, it really is. Like, we haven't seen anybody like this in the UFC. Okay, maybe, but for him, uh, he say no. Uh, <laughs> maybe he don't want to say that. But he say yes, I'm not a really good striker. I'm not. Uh, I'm not agree with him. I think I'm a good striker. Does that bother you when he says stuff <laughs> like that? Does that? I mean, he's saying stuff like I don't understand how you guys are saying that this is my toughest test when Thiago Santos threw everything with with evil intent. Does that bother you to see him say that about a guy, not only from a smaller weight class, but a guy that has lost numerous times in the UFC? You haven't done that. I see the matchup and say this is the toughest test for him because I look inside the matchup, your size, your speed, your abilities. Does that bother you though, when he goes he kind of almost dismissive of what you've done in your ability? You like to talk like that. Maybe you need, you need that to have more confidence. Maybe he need that to be more a dog because yeah. maybe he think he need to be a dog to beat me. Do what you don't have to be. be her. Yeah, okay, all right. So this is his way. This is not my way. Yeah. Me, I just be to be chill uh, uh, and to be focused and, uh, and to, have, to have a great camp. That's it. Now I'm confident and I'm, really, I'm really ready for him. Before I let you go, I want you to grab my phone over there. I want to show you something. You... Uh, <laughs> I just got, I mean, I gotta, I have to let you see this because I've heard stories and I've seen you play basketball, but I need you to understand, you can't play me. You can't guard me. You can't play me. Dude. <laughs> what? Let me see. Bro, I am, I am, no, I would take you into the post, back you down and hit you with my patented hook shot. I have got one of the best hook shots. I have one of the best hook shots in the entire game. Bro, I got some, I got some real skill, Cyril. I got some real skill, my brother. I was hitting this dude with all kinds of moves. It was the craziest, I'm hitting Bilal Muhammad. Here we go, here we go. Look, 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 look. Whoa, 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 Okay, that's a little jump shot. Whoa, whoa, watch, Cyril, watch. Whoa, whoa, look at Bilal Muhammad. He's he's just trash too. He, ah, they, you they, they foul so much. They foul too much, bro. Dude, these guys foul, man. Wow, wow. Here we go. Look, look at the real. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! Ah! You see that? Like a big you see that? Like a big man, Charles Barkley. Look. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna hit him again. Yeah. Watch, I hit him again. Surreal, watch. No, it's good. Hit him with it. Yep. Big man, check. Reverse. Check. Ah! <laughs> that's good. That's good. What that's I'm trying good, to tell you. Good. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> didn't I tell you? Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Dude, didn't I tell you? So, do you think you beat me in the basketball game? Yeah, for sure, bro. Surreal. But real. let me, let me, let, let me. Yeah. All right. You and I on the golf course, on the basketball course. After you finish the championship fight, we, we need to add the map wrestling match. Yeah. Well, if, you give, if it's a wrestling, you go. Oh, so y'all just trying to give me one win at least? Because I'm pinning surreal, <laughs> guys. UFC 285 is this weekend. Surreal Gon takes on John Jones for the heavyweight championship of the world. Make sure you guys tune in. Second opportunity for the big man. Let's see if he can cash in against one of the greatest fighters of all time. Till next time, guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friend to tell your friend that DC has a YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Surreal, thanks for checking in with me, my brother. You, my Appreciate it.